So, let's see, I'm gonna quick save actually. If I got that, yeah. <laughs> Gosh, it's so much faster at quick saving than it was back in the day. I remember like the load times. I think I was running this, I actually had this running on a Mac, um, which was kind of weird. They released, I guess the Unreal Tournament engine was pretty friendly to um, the Mac user. So uh, they released this game pretty quickly after the PC version came out. So uh, yeah, I sort of grew up on a Mac, but um, I actually happen to be playing this on a Mac right now, but I'm running in boot camp, so it's actually in Windows. And I'm sure I'll be uh, getting plenty of hatred for for all that uh, heresy I'm speaking now, but. Whoa, that was weird. Why did it disappear? <laughs> Multi-tool, those are um, basically lock picks for doors, like electronic doors. They'll be like little keypads and things like that. Uh, those are for those. This part here, I can never remember what I do here. I think it's always kind of a mess. There's like these two guys. That's the difference right there. Just take a look at him. Bad? He cut off his arm, replaced half his face. Herman, right? He's a good soldier. Killed three of our men. They'd have replaced his whole body if it would have improved performance. That's how you judge a man? By performance? Then eventually it's not about people, but upgrades, versions, functionality. All I know is we could use a few mechs for ops like this. Hmm. Yeah, I can never remember what to do at this part just because I don't have a whole lot of equipment. That's what makes this game pretty difficult, like, right early on, is because you don't have a great deal of firepower, so it's kind of like you just kind of have to take a beating sometimes. As soon as we buy into the cult of the machine, we're just like them. Rhetoric. Always more rhetoric. I think I can kind of... Sneak out here a little bit. Yeah. Um, you know what? I think I'm just going to leave these guys. Uh, I always forget that I can do that, but... Um, yeah, that's definitely an option. I don't know. There's something about leaving enemies alive in a level that's just like... Yeah. <laughs> it's like I feel like there's something I haven't completed or whatever. I don't think you actually get skill points for taking down enemies in this game, so it's not really like actually a big deal. Um, but, you know, it's, you know how it is, I'm sure. Yeah, when there's like guys sort of alone like this, they're generally pretty easy to take down. Um, even though I do have I guess advanced low tech skill, which I think is one less than the maximum. Um, it still is not always a given that you'll take guys down with one hit with the baton. Like generally, I would be using the baton to knock them out, uh, but it, um, yeah, like I said, it's not always a 100% chance that that will work. So, and it kind of can ruin things sometimes because they'll just spin around you hit them one time they spin around and uh, start shooting at you so that's why I like to get low tech weapons all the way up uh, pretty early on just because it's almost I don't know it's kind of it's almost useless until it is up to that level so yeah you'll see I'll quick save like a fiend I do it all the time <laughs> so I think I'll wait for this guy to go check out this little computer panel here. I'm not sure if that's a computer or not. Whatever. I think if I move over here. There we go. Not sure if I'm going to move quick enough. I have to stay crouched or else he'll hear me, so. Oh, gosh. No. Oh, oh, oh. Crap. <laughs> These guys aren't so tough. Woo. Yes, you are right, sir. All right. That's not a great start. <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, I guess I need to just hide down at this little 
nook right there. Forgot about that. Got too ambitious. Yeah, when you have low skill points in this game, the uh, your combat ability is pretty low. This game, as far as like shooters go, uh, it's not like if you're if you're just looking to like shoot guys the whole time. I wouldn't say it's the funnest thing in the world. It's not. I don't know. The gameplay is not super tight, but um, that's really the only thing about it that I, you know, that isn't amazing. <laughs> Yeah, I've played through this game probably five or, or six times, and it seems like it's so long that by the time I get to the end of it... Is this guy ever coming back? There he is. Um, by the time I get to the end of it, it's like I've already forgotten how it began just because it's such a long game. And it, it doesn't drone on either. It definitely, like, keeps a pace. <laughs> Shocking these guys in the buttocks. Um, but yeah, it's like it, it doesn't really become stale at any point. It actually improves quite a bit. Um, this yes. power box must have been damaged in the raid. Don't cross through the arcs. I'm also picking up an EMP field here. If you're not careful, it'll suck away your bioelectrical energy. Yeah, so anyway, uh, I guess these little things, uh, data cubes, uh, really frequently will tell you um, key codes and things to, to security systems. Like this one is for the security computer login. I think that's inside the, uh, the statue. And then this thing, that's right, it raises up. Oh. Yeah, so this is one of those situations where... There's a couple different things you can do. There's, like, uh, you could use a multi-tool uh, on that little thing right there um, that would allow you to basically pick the lock on this thing, uh, and it would get rid of the electrical arcs. Or you could just, you know, press the button, lift that thing up. It's just, I don't know, it's, it seems like almost every single little thing in this whole game is just fixated on, on allowing you... Uh, choices, and that's just one of the things I love about it so much. Oops. There we go. Yeah, that's actually some pretty good stuff pretty early on. These things are weapon mods. You can um, increase the clip size and add like lasers onto things. Um, I think I'm going to add the laser onto the tranquilizer gun. And then add the clip size onto the rifle. The pistol, at least this pistol, is uh, really common and uh, I personally don't like upgrading it just because you end up getting a stealth pistol later and uh, it has a suppressor on it so it's just kind of generally better. Um, oh yeah and to get back I just gotta throw this little box down here. There we go. See, this ladder here, I think there must be something up here. Yep. Yep. There we go. A little multi-tool. Yeah, it definitely rewards the player for uh, exploration, that's for sure. I think, uh, like, Paul and Alex Jacobson were telling me to uh, go around to the other side of the island, which is I just in this direction, that little gateway over there. I go meet, I um, can't remember his name, uh, Harley, I think, something like that. I've got to watch out. Oh wait, no, that's a good guy, that's right. Yeah, sometimes uh, what definitely a, a sort of a strategy you can use is just to like get people's attention and like run over this way and just get them in front of this bot and uh, it'll take them down pretty quickly so it's pretty cool but uh, yeah uh, I'll let this go back. it all happened an hour ago the barge docked and the NSF moved right on in 
offloading the cargo into speedboats. Our undercover man, Harley Philbin, should be somewhere out on the docks now. Yeah, I got the name right. <laughs> yeah, this part here. Let's see, do I have any? No, I don't have any more ammo for my charger. So I might just have to try the baton and uh, hope for the best. So let's see the strategy here. I think I'll wait for this guy to go around the corner and then take out this guy in the gray jacket first. Shouldn't see me as long as I stay behind his sort of 180 degree field of vision here. So I'm just gonna do the old uh, cheating method of, ooh. okay, good. <laughs> I was gonna say I was gonna use the old cheating method of uh, quick saving immediately before doing something dangerous and um, reloading if I died. It's cheap. It's cheap, but uh, everyone does it. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna continue moving this guy around here. But yeah, if this guy saw the body, um, he would get upset. This may have been one of the first games, along with Thief, where enemies would kind of notice dead bodies. Can't really remember what um, what else there might have been that had that kind of gameplay. <laughs> Just trying to stay behind this guy. And do a quick save. I think maybe if you stand up it might help, but... That's him. Alright, well, got shot. Um, but I've got a health pack, so. I'll try to, um, to not, like, do the cheap stuff with the reloading and whatnot. Um, as frequently as I normally would, I guess, because it's probably kind of annoying to watch, I can imagine. So I guess there's nothing up here. Always good to check, though. All right, let's go see Harvey. Oh wait, this looks like a uh, medical ordinance crate. Sir? About time you showed up. Iron and copper. The statue is copper on an iron frame, right? Password's enough, pal. Don't think you know something about the lady I don't. My dad did tours out here. I heard that you can get me inside. Depends. You get your man out, take back the statue, whatever. But I know the commander and I don't want to see him get hurt. Here's a picture so you don't make a mistake. You can trust me. I'll take your word. Here's the key to the front entrance. Commander's not much of a soldier. He'll surrender as soon as he sees you. I need him alive because he's my main contact at the NSF. If he's dead, I don't have much of a business. Thanks. Cool. Yeah, you see I get 150 skill points for that and it all went away so fast. But <laughs> yeah, just for uh, visiting this guy, I get some skill points, which is cool. So. It's always a good idea to just kind of explore around and try as many things as you can in this game. It will reward you for it. You with Philbin? I get a cut for bringing him over. Tell me what you know about the NSF operation. I'm not that high level. The more elite troops, they're the ones that took over the ship and unloaded it into speedboats. I think we're supposed to be a diversion. A ship? That's all I know. The commander gave me a 10mm clip, a box of 30 out 6 ammo, and some crossbow darts, and said keep your head down. Huh. Like I'm gonna take on your NACO troops. Want them? You can add the clip for 175, the 30 out 6 for 300, and the darts for 50. But if I was you, I'd avoid a head on attack altogether and not even use the key Philbin got. I'd go in the statue from the back. Less security that way. Um, 30 out 6 ammo is pretty rare. That's the sniper rifle. Here's ammo. 300. Give me the 30 out 6 ammo. Thanks. So, yeah. The uh, 10 millimeter pistol ammo is pretty common at this point. 